Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to record your video conference when using Google Meet. So the first thing to mention is that the ability to record a Google Meet video conference is part of the enterprise version of G Suite, and it may not be available for your Google account. However, at the time of this recording, Google has made this premium feature available to schools for free because of the COVID-19 situation and the fact that many educators are having to teach remotely. Next, we also need to mention that this feature is something that your technology people need to turn on in the G Suite Admin Console. This option is found under the Google Meet settings in the section on Recording. This is where your tech administrators can enable or disable the ability to record a Google Meet. Now, assuming that your school has access to this feature and that it has been turned on for you, here are the directions for recording a Google Meet. First, start up a Google Meet as usual. Be sure to see the other videos in this series for all the details on how to start a Meet, invite people to the Meet, and the basic features of using Google Meet. Now, you do not have to invite anyone else to the Meet if you simply want to record yourself, such as giving a presentation or teaching a lesson for others to view later. However, if you do have other people join you in the Meet, be sure to let them know that the meeting is going to be recorded. When you're ready to start recording, just click the three dots button down in the bottom right corner and then choose Record Meeting. Next, click the Accept button to begin. And that's it. The meeting is now recording. You can now conduct the meeting as normal using all of the features of Google Meet, such as presenting your screen to show a slideshow or such. Now keep in mind, what is being recorded is whoever is currently speaking or whatever is being presented, not necessarily what you see on your screen. For example, right now I can see all of the other attendees on my screen, but that's not actually what's being recorded. Because I'm the one who is doing the speaking, what is actually getting recorded is me. Just like as if I had pinned myself to the screen, that is the view that's actually being recorded. Now when you're ready to end the recording, just click the three dots button again and choose Stop Recording. And then click Stop Recording once more to verify. If you want to start recording again, you can start and stop recording as many times in the meeting as you like, but it will save each recording as a separate video. The recording will now be saved to your Google Drive in a folder called Meet Recordings. It will take a little while for the recording to show up here as Google does need to process the video first. So if you do not see the video right away, check back a little later. You will also receive an email with the link to access and play the video. Also, if you created the Meet through Google Calendar, then a link to the recording will be added to the calendar event so that anyone who is invited to the event will also have access to the link of the recorded video. If you use Google Classroom, it is super easy to share the recorded video with your class. Just go to Classroom and then start a new post in the stream or on the Classwork page such as an assignment or a material. In this case, we'll post a new post to the stream. We'll click in the stream to start our post. And then we'll click the Add button below the post and choose Google Drive because that's where the videos are being saved from Google Meet. Now you should see your video in the recent files, but if not, you can choose My Drive and then open the folder called Meet Recordings to locate the video from your Google Meet. Select the video and click Add, and then finally click the Post button. Now your students will have access to view the video in Google Classroom. In addition to Google Classroom, there are many other ways to share your video. One of the easiest ways to do this is to share the video from your Google Drive, just like you would share a regular Google Doc. Go to your drive, go to the Meet Recordings folder, and locate the video. You can now right-click on the video and choose Share, or you can simply select the video and then go up to the Sharing button in the top menu bar. You can now share the video with specific people by putting their email address or a Google Group email address into the People box.
or if you want anyone to be able to view the video, then click Get Shareable Link. This will create a link that you can copy and then give to anyone in your school or organization that will allow them to watch the video. Now, if you want people outside of your school to be able to see the video, click on the drop down menu and choose More. You can now select the option for anyone with the link and then click Save. Now you can copy the link and provide it to anyone in the world and they will be able to watch the video. You can now take the copied link and share it in many ways, including in a Google Doc or through email, on your blog or website, on social media, in Google Classroom, with a URL shortener like Bitly, with a QR code, or many more options. Finally, if you want, you can also download a copy of the video to your computer by right-clicking on the video and choosing Download, or by selecting the video, going up to the three dots button in Google Drive, and choosing Download. So those are the basics for how to record your video conference when using Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.